A freighter runs aground on the Detroit River. I'm Erica Francis. I've got the details for you coming up next. I mean, take a look at that. Good morning to you, Amy. Good morning, Erica. Also new this morning, a developing story from downtown Detroit. A driver in an SUV crashes into the box office at the Fillmore Theater, causing a lot of damage. Details on that coming up. Good morning. I'm Josh Landon in Hazel Park inside the Amazon Fulfillment Facility, where we are talking about Cyber Monday and learning more about how you can receive your order within a few hours from ordering. That's why you see this is a clear path at the moment. We'll explain much more coming up. Working for you. Fox 2 News Live at 11 starts now. All those Cyber Monday purchases. Are you, have you started? Did I, you do I anything? I not. You? I did something yesterday. I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I, I got some things done yesterday. That's good. Yeah. Very good. All right, good morning. Thanks for being with us on this Monday. I'm Amy Lang. And I'm Brandon Hudson. And we want to start with some breaking news from Detroit right now. A tanker has run aground in the Detroit River near Belle Isle. This involves a 623-foot freighter that is carrying 21,000 tons of wheat. The U.S. Coast Guard in a tugboat working to refloat the ship right now. Fox 2's Erica Francis is live with what else we've learned. Good morning, Erica. Good morning to you guys. Quite the spectacle, right? This is not something that you see every day. You can see her behind me. That tugboat is working uh, quite small compared to this massive, massive freighter. Yes, this all happened just around 740 this morning. Thankfully, no reports of any injuries, pollution concern, or damage to the freighter that anchored here overnight, actually. But obviously, a huge headache now for the crew on board. No word yet on what caused the ship to run aground, but the Coast Guard and and Tug Wisconsin, that's the boat you see there, are both assisting and say the Barbro G, a 623-foot Portuguese freighter, is carrying 21,000 tons of wheat from Canada to Italy and ran aground just before 740 this morning. This is just outside of the Belle Isle Anchorage on the Detroit River. That's east of GM's headquarters and then west of Belle Isle. We are told that there is no impact to commercial traffic. Again, no word yet on what caused the ship to run aground and no reports of any injuries, no pollution concern or damage to the ship. But again, if you want to come out here, it's cold, but if you want to come out here to the Detroit Riverwalk, you can see this massive, massive vessel. I mean, it truly is amazing to see up uh, close and personal. But again, it's run aground and hopefully they can be on their way here shortly. We are reporting live on the Detroit Riverfront this morning. Erica Francis, Fox 2 News. Well, good to hear that there is no impact to other shipping, but wow, this is going from Canada to Italy, I think you said, Erica, and uh, obviously it's got a long way to go, so hopefully they get uh, unstuck real soon. Uh, agreed. Yeah, if you look at the information that we were given, this boat wasn't planning on being to Italy until December, so that is a long trip, so certainly they're hoping to get unstuck and get on their way. All right, thank you so much, Erica Francis. We appreciate you. Yes. Fox 2 continues to follow a news alert from downtown Detroit as well. Yes, a vehicle slamming into the front of the Fillmore Theater, leaving behind a big mess. Around 2.30 in the morning, a woman driving an SUV hit the box office of the theater on Woodward Avenue. Well, the driver is in police custody and did not appear to be hurt. The box office was destroyed in the crash, but thankfully there was no damage inside the theater. No shows are scheduled for tonight, giving the venue a chance to make some much-needed repairs. Singer Chris Young is scheduled to perform on Tuesday. Take a look at this crash on Detroit's west side. Wow. Uh, firefighters used the jaws of life to remove the driver from what's left of this vehicle. Several people went to the hospital, and this is why police warn against driving while intoxicated. According to police, the driver who caused it was under the influence. This happened early yesterday morning on westbound I-96 near Telegraph. The 27-year-old driver crashed into another car from behind, disabling both vehicles. Officers arrested the driver, a passenger in the vehicle, the other vehicle, is seriously hurt. Detroit police are on the hunt for a suspect who spent Thanksgiving week carjacking at least two people. Police tell us on Tuesday night this man that you see on your screen went up to a driver at a gas station at Wyoming and Plymouth on Detroit's west side. He got away with the victim's Cadillac sedan. Then on Thursday night, Thanksgiving night, he struck another gas station near Lodge, near the Lodge and Schaefer and made off with a BMW. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. If you know who the guy is or recognize the jacket, call DPD right away. 
Well, also, two people killed in a plane crash in West Michigan. This happening yesterday morning in Mason County. That's near Ludington. The couple, a 43-year-old woman along with a 60-year-old man, were from Indiana. They were visiting family in the Ludington area when their single-engine plane crashed in a field near the county airport. The couple's two dogs also killed. It was snowing at the time, but it's not clear if weather was a factor in that crash. And a train and car colliding on Detroit's west side, leaving the driver in critical condition. Police tell us the man was driving near West Chicago in the Southfield Freeway yesterday afternoon when he was hit by the train. Nobody on board the train was injured. This morning, the investigation is ongoing. All right, let's get to your forecast now where things have been interesting, to say the least, over the last 24 hours. <laughs> it's been really a, a shock of winter very quickly, picking up that snow beginning right around noon Sunday afternoon. A lot of us got an inch to an inch and a half, some, some spots closer to two, and White Lake got three inches of snow. We're not done with it yet. I still see more of that snow out there right now as lake effect snow continues to set up here from Lansing down through Jackson, Eaton Rapids, and over. So now pushing into spots in Heartland, Ann Arbor, dealing with some snow currently. This is not the heavy duty accumulating snow. It's really kind of passing quicker, lighter to moderate flurries, if you will. It's also snowing pretty decently right now in parts of Windsor. Uh, that all said, I think as far as what we will see additionally, it's probably a quarter of an inch to maybe as high as another half an inch of snow. These are the totals that we've had uh, so far from Ipsy to close to two, Waterford getting two, and then spots up in Macomb County. That's where Richmond is in Macomb County, about an inch and a half-ish. Uh, lower numbers farther south you go. So Romulus got only about a half an inch of snow, although they did get a little bit more early this morning. This all said, it's not a major, major snow event, but it is the first snow event. And a lot of times it takes us a second to accumulate back to that winter type dry I know a lot of times people tend to get a little crazy with that first winter snow. And here's the other issue. Not a lot of this is going to melt over the next 48 hours. In fact, it's probably going to take us close to 60 hours to see that snow really melting here. Let's get you out the door today with temperatures getting to about 32 degrees. So freezing conditions continue and we'll stay below freezing as we move through Tuesday before finally getting some melting heading into Wednesday. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Amy Brandon. All right. Thank you, Derek. Welcome to Adobe Analytics online Black Friday sales hit close to 10 billion dollars yeah, I mean, shattering previous records. that does not even include the in-store sales because stores are packed in sure. some of these areas well today even more online shoppers will be taking advantage of all the cyber monday bargains fox news josh land is going to give us a little show of how it works he is uh, joins us from a, an amazon fulfillment center in hills park Yes, Cyber Monday is in full effect. We are inside the Fulfillment Center in Hazel Park for Amazon, and I'm joined by Leanne McAfee. Hello to you. Hi. Okay, you are one of the busy workers here at this, at this uh, facility. Okay, how are you able to make your order and receive it within a few hours? Yeah, so essentially we do same day delivery. Uh, so what we have is we have our pods where we stow all of our stuff and store it. Mm. And then we have uh, people that pick, pack and deliver all within 11 minutes. Wow, within 11 minutes. Okay, what are some of the nooks and crannies when you're in front of your laptop shopping on Cyber Monday, the deals you can find right away? Well, we have it all. We have millions of different inventory here. It's, uh, we do customer research. Uh, we have the top uh, products in this facility uh, that people mostly want. We have it from dog food to apple products to makeup to soup, energy drinks. We have it all. Walking through your facility, I saw boxes, boxes of canned Campbell's soup. Ordered on Amazon. Yes, you can order it. We have it all. All right. Well, Leanne, thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. And also, Leanne shared with me that if you refresh your computer every five minutes or so, that's when new deals pop up on Amazon. Therefore, you can really cash in on the Cyber Monday. Just remember to hit that refresh button every five to ten minutes to cash in and take advantage. In Hazel Park, Josh Landon, Fox 2 News.